What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to Daily Deposits TV. Uh, this is my first episode, so I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm uh, just testing the waters. On our way to shoot around, actually. Got a game today, big game against, uh, we're in Obra right now. We beat them about a week or so ago, so I know they're coming back for revenge. But we're in their city, so, um, you know, we just won our last game against Commu. We, uh, the next morning, the morning after, it was like 7 a.m., and uh, our bus broke down at like, at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. We had to wait in like 102 degrees heat for like an hour and a half, two hours, and then to fix the bus. Yeah, walking to uh, shoot around right now, get some shots up. I'll try to get some video for you guys for that. And then uh, just a regular game day. Normally in the morning, breakfast, coffee, uh, film. I, I got some video of that for you guys. Uh, now heading to shoot around. After that, we have lunch. Then we normally, everybody just goes back to their room and just relaxes, maybe takes a nap. It's a big thing here. It's called a siesta. A lot of people nap from about two to, uh, take like, you know, a one to two hour nap. It's pretty very common here very common uh, then you know wake up we have merienda which is kind of like a snack time here you know coffee maybe some media lunas some toast uh some fruit then we get ready and head to the game around 8 30 tip offs at 10 so pulling up to the gym in a minute i'll get you guys a couple visuals of the gym they actually have a really nice campus really nice gym so it's a nice city we're in. It's real pretty. And of course I gotta get my boy in the camera real quick. Don't be shy, Ivan. Say what's up to the people, man. That's the, that's the guy right there. Don't be speaking no Spanish, man. You know you speak perfect <laughs> English, man. You want to speak perfect English, so. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ain't trying to speak no English for the camera. We pulling up to Obra right now. Let's see what the campus looks like. Yeah, a really nice club here. Pool. Big pool, too. We got two pools, actually. Pool. Go Sapo showing some love. Hola, hola. Yeah, it's nice. And it's the war zone right here. I'm gonna tap back in with you guys after practice. Get some shots up. Marco, say what's up, man. Say what's up, Marcos. Yeah. From Buffalo to the world. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera, sorry, man. man. From Syracuse from, to the world. From Syracuse sorry, to the world. Come on now. Buffalo too, though, man. I gotta show my my Buffalonians some love. There you go. Show me something, Mario. Yeah. You gotta show me a little something, Mario. Yeah. 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 Hey, you about to break my? Hey, you about to break my camera, man? <laughs> Shout out to Kane, man. Keeping my feet recovered. Shout out to Kane, man. I'm trying, to get that, I'm trying to get that sponsorship, so help me out with that. Shout out to Kane, man. Go buy some Kane's, man. K-A-N-E. Way better than Crocs.
And then we got Emmy, the physical trainer. Oh! Emmy for three. Hey, Pika, if Emmy beats you, you gotta do 100 push ups. Emmy. Oh. We're getting the gym nice and, nice and clean for us. That's a good job right there. That's, he waxing the hell out of those floors right there, ain't he now? Choo choo. You gotta tell the people what you got. What's this? Mate. Mate? Drink. For trading, man. It's good. Let me get some of that, man. Kind of. Yes. Some of this right here. What's up? Water. Mas. Yerba. Yerba. Yeah, it's like. Yerba, sí, sí. O sea, sí, porque no hay una palabra para yerba. It's real. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like. Bitter. It's basically just tea. It's just tea, but it's like that raw stuff. Yerba. Yerba mate is the name. Take you out to the room real quick. Show you what the room looks like. Might be a little dirty, but don't judge us. We're athletes on the road. Oh, yeah. Coop up in here. Yeah, but it's like, it's acting up. I just want to show them the vibes. Lunch options today at the healthy side. Got some options. And then we got the dessert side. You know, I stick with the fruit salad. That's my go-to is that fruit salad. And with the yam, stay with the cheese, with the cucumber salad. Como estas, amigo? What we got there? That good chicken, straight off the grill. Let's see, right up there. My last video got cut a little short. I was recording the casino. My two the security officer guys like ran up to me. And was, you can't record here. Obviously in Spanish, but I was like, all right, relax, bro. Relax, bro. Tranquilo, man. Boy, Doug in the building. You know what time it is? Point God in the building. Good. I'm, I'm about to hit the pool real quick. See. Warmed up, uh, my normal pregame routine. And, uh, it's game time. I'm dressed, ready to go. About to go warm up, get a stretch in, get some shots up, and uh, it's game time. Tap in with you guys later, man.
What's going on, everybody? Um, so it's about seven, eight days, about a week or so after the game. Um, give you guys a little post game kind of kind of thing here. Uh, it's just kind of hard juggling with time. You know, time management um, is tough here with you know between the practice games, you know, constant games. Every other couple days we have a game. Practices every day. Sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the night. So kind of just managing my time. Um, I've been getting better with it, but it is kind of difficult between recovery, uh, workouts, like I said, practice games, and you know, obviously you gotta get enough sleep in. And then of course, family time. So uh, with me, it's a lot different than a lot of the other guys. I, you know, I have my family with me. So um, kind of just incorporating them first and then everything else kind of follows. Um, but you know, they're really good with knowing that I'm, you know, I practice two, three hours a day and you know, the free time, um, we're always outside when we have free time, you know, maybe watch a movie during the day, a little, little bit of a movie. Um, but mostly outside, go to the park with them and, you know, pool, we do the pool a lot. Pool is actually really beneficial for me too. So we find ourselves in the pool a lot, especially because it's hot here. Um, 100 plus degrees every day. I think the last couple of days have been like 102, 103-ish. I think 104 was like two or three days ago, hit 104. Um, it gets really hot here. Power goes out every couple of days here. So with Obra, we did lose, uh, but it was a really good game. We found ourselves down uh, 14 at halftime. I would say for the most part, it was more of a mentally tough game of course it's always physically tough but it was more of a mentally tough game because we knew that they had home court advantage and we knew that they that we beat them the week prior so we kind of knew it was going to be a tough game in that sense um, but also I think maybe as a team maybe we were a little fatigued um, you know from travel from you know being on the bus and you know, all that kind of stuff adds up. So, um, but of course, no excuses. We lost. A loss is a loss. So as I was pulling up the stats, um, we have a little visitor. Mila, can you say hi? She wanted to paint my nails. So, here, sweetie. You gonna say hi to everybody? Look. Say hi. Wave. Say hi. Come back here a little bit. Here, say hi. Say hi now. Say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm painting that dad's nails. So yeah, a little little hi, little post game, little post game review. Um, as a team, I mean, we numbers wise, we really didn't play bad at all. We out rebounded them, we out scored them for our starting five, we out rebounded them offensively and defensively. Um, we out assisted them. Uh, we turned the ball over one more time, and I think it really just came down to bench points. We only had 11 bench points. They had 20 bench points, and we fought back. Like I said, we were down 14 at halftime. We fought back. At the end of the third, I want to say we were down, no, no, towards the middle of the fourth, we ended up being down maybe like six, seven points, six, seven, or eight points. I don't really remember so much, but we were playing very good, like as a team. And then I kind of think that we just stopped doing that. Um, we stopped running the floor. Um, maybe we stopped passing, making that extra pass, making that you know extra good pass. So I think that kind of came back and got us. Um, of course, it was a winnable game. All games are winnable. Now individual stats. I myself, I played 37 minutes, 37 out of 40 minutes. Um, some more individual stats. I had a, I had a pretty solid game. Um, I do wish I shot better from the three. A lot of mine, a lot of them kind of went in and out. Like they were like, I was one for five from the three, so it's only 20%, but you know, whatever. You just gotta keep shooting. Um, I was, I was, I'm content with my free throws this game because I've been really not shooting well from the line this whole season, actually. I shot seven for nine and I was six for seven from the from the field, from the, from the two point field. Um, seven rebounds, twenty two points, and two assists. So, 
I mean, yeah, like I said, it was a fun game. Um, it was a very competitive game. It's something that we needed. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much what are you doing? So that's all I have for this video today, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and supporting me and showing love always. Uh, don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see next time and my next day in the life. Mila, would you like to say bye, sweetie? Come here. Come here. Come here. Say bye. Say till next time. Till next time. Bye bye. La pelota que mueve la unión, ataque rápido, verdaderamente buena. Con... No era habitual, o, o, o para él en su experiencia en la liga, no era habitual, pero que se estaban amalgamando muy bien. Los que entraron desde la banca también tuvieron buenos minutos, ¿eh? y a unión mueve muy bien. Dempty. Ah, pero... Así que bueno, hay, hay hombres en esta cancha con mucha historia en la Liga Nacional. Con coincidencia, ¿no? ¡Triple! Por, por, porque falló. Si no, bebé, muchachos, métanla. Claro, exacto. Y bueno, ahora un muy, una muy buena jugada de que claro. lo achica la Unión. Bueno, en esta contra parece ser que la Unión va a tener la oportunidad de achicarla. Y le saca la falta a Córdoba. La lucha es de Henry con Maldonado, que le ganó el callejón del fondo. Con tablero convierte dos puntos. Henry. Y el aliento de la gente lo encontraron solito y convierte y le saca.